Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. So that's how it is went there. Eh? Yeah, I'm happy for both of you. I really am. It seems like she's on the path to realizing how much she actually means to the people around her. Mm -hmm. You keep surprising me with your views as a fan. And I continue to wonder why I get the support I get. That's all the more reason that I'm thankful. That I've been given this opportunity and level of support despite my inability to understand. So, thanks again. Of course, I'm sure I'm able to speak for the rest of the Mana fans as well when I say this. I'll always be here for you. Paul Michael talked also to me and my and closed my eyes. I appreciate each other's presence and warmth, sharing our vulnerabilities, accepting and being accepted. Okay, I need to pause here right now because my heart for some reason this sentence alone just my heart just it, it wants to feel this right now. Michael and I, and I arrived at the restaurant a bit earlier than the agreed upon time. After calling my sister to inform her that we are here, Makoto and I grab a table. I'm kind of nervous. Pretty sure that'll go away once you meet her. She's pretty easy to talk to. And I'm not just saying that because I grew up with her. She's able to make friends pretty easily. Hmm, I see. What about you then? We don't talk about that. Makoto and I chat for a bit before I notice Yukuni coming over to our table. Ah, sorry I'm late. I got caught up in some traffic. No, you're fine. We didn't wait that long. Yukuni gasped as soon as she noticed Makoto. Uh, hello, you must be Shuma's sister. Yukuni immediately takes a seat next to Makoto and starts embracing her. Well, this is just. You're Makoto, you're so much more adorable than I expected. Yes. Sorry, I don't typically hug people right after I meet them, but I know you and Shuma have been through a lot. Just come, Yoko. No need for any formalities. Makoto is startled by the sudden smothering of affection. She's flailing her arms, unsure of what to do. <laughs> after a few seconds, Yoko. Okay, let's go of Makoto. If there's anything I can help you with, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, uh, with, uh, thanks. Makoto, you're scaring her. <laughs> Sorry. I really do want to thank you, though, Makoto. You've done so much for Shoma. I really can't thank you enough. He's the one who's done so much for me. And I should thank you as well for being a pillar of support for him. Well, Shoma has clung to me ever since he was a little boy. Oh no, I feel some embarrassing past memories coming up from Shoma. This is false, more like you dragged me everywhere with you. Makoto, why don't you... Don't I tell you about the times Shoma clung to me when we were young? Ah, uh, stop! Interesting, tell me more. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> uh, that was a good movie. <clears throat> what? You too, don't encourage her. Well, that was the time show when I went to. <laughs> you could never be began telling stories of her childhood with the content that I was always attached to her. She would conveniently leave out the parts where I would be forced to tackle her. All my archipelagos were immediately shut down as expected. Let's continue for a bit until we got our food. Mao Shuma, you sure are a very clingy kid, but you, you're having the time of your life right now, aren't you? Maguro burst out laughing, almost choking on the bite that she was swallowing. You can seem to be as amused, and Makoto's disregard for keeping up appearances as I was. Even now, he's still like that. He always wants me to pat his head. 
What other lies are you going to tell? I'm not surprised, even today, just before we arrived, he tried to get physical and they intimidated with me. Why are you saying it in a way that's so easily misunderstood? <laughs> Come on, Shuman, you need to control yourself. You two are having way too much fun. <laughs> Sorry. It really does make me happy to see how far you've come to. Just over a week ago, you would scoff at trying to meet new people. But now, I can tell you and Makoto have really come a long way together. We must feel like you two can take on anything together. I think we're a long way... We're a long ways away from reaching that point. Yeah, I'm not sure either of us know exactly where to go from here. Nothing wrong with that. You're both smart, kind people. I'm sure the answers will come to you in time. I sure hope so. If it makes you feel better, I'm still figuring things out myself. Is that supposed to make us feel better or worse? Most people would think that working adults have their lives figured out. Hmm, maybe some do out there. But I have my fair share of clinging to the past and one wandering aimlessly. Um, it's just that as an adult I'm expected to use most of my day doing things to try and provide for myself while I also figure things out. That sounds depressing. <laughs> Sorry, it's not all that bad. You don't have to worry about that though. There's plenty to appreciate in the current moment. That's the Sure, Mike, could you give us a few minutes? There's something I want to talk to Makoto about. Oh, uh, sure. Guess I'll use the restroom. Thanks, it won't take long. I get up from the table and make my way to the restroom. I wonder what she wanted to talk to Makoto about. Guess there's no point in thinking about it. I'm sure there are plenty of things they could talk about that they won't want me hearing. I think I know what. After a few minutes, I make my way back to the table. Makoto, you can hear are both smiling. Are you two done, or should I walk around? You're good, we can sit down. I assume you're not going to tell me that you talked about. Definitely not. It's a woman's secret. Yeah, I figured. It wasn't much, let's just call it some girl talk. Right. <laughs> well, I think I have to get going soon. I know it's been short, but I got some things to take care of. That's alright. Thanks for coming. Hmm? It was nice meeting you. Oh, yes, well. I'll be leaving town, town tomorrow, so I might be a bit until I see you two again. Come on, Makaro. I know life can be tough. But I truly believe that our greatest strengths as people is the connections we make and the bonds we form with others. Neither of you are alone. Please don't forget that. Thanks. We won't forget. Great. Now both of you give me a hug before I go. You're gonna give, give each of us a hug before going to pay the bill. After paying she said one last goodbye to us before leaving. Your sister's quite the character. She is, isn't she? Here and gone like a storm. Do you want to get going? Sure, pick to your place. Is there still work that needs to be done? No, there's a few things I need to rehearse, but I can do them on my own time, do I? Well, or all, you're basically done. Oh, that's great then. Yeah, want to stop by the beach before you head back? Sure. Thanks, let's go. Girls connect. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto and I walk across the shore. The sounds of the ocean raise in the air. <coughs> Stars decorate the night sky. The night sky really is beautiful here, isn't it? Yep, that's why I love taking walks here at night. I actually took inspiration for the design of mana here. I was actually guessing that was the case. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's particularly unique, but 
When I look at the sky, there's so many beautiful stars out there. They all have a varying degree of brightness. And there are also so many out there that aren't visible to the naked eye. But I think that's okay. We all find meaning in our lives, in our way, in our own way. And we also assign meaning to things in our own way. People find it in themselves to assign meaning to even the dimmest of stars. Not every star has to be as bright as those that make up the most well-known constellations. There's someone out there that will not <coughs> notice that the lonely star even in the deepest corner of the sky. I became money in hopes that I could be a star that people can find hope and happiness in, no matter how bright I shine. That maybe I can eventually become a star that's able to shine bright. And maybe I could find my own meaning. And you know what? I think I was able to find it. I'm really happy to hear that. I'm really living the current moment as a VTuber. VTubers have only recently become a thing, and I have no idea what the future holds for us on. It may just be a fleeting page in the entry, entire story of my life. But right now, I love what, to, what I do, and I want to keep doing it, despite all the hardships that come with it. Not something I want to ever give up. Even though I know it, will have to end eventually. Even when I no longer shine, I want people to know that I'm still out there, somewhere in the night sky, doing my best. I want people to remember that I was someone that was able to bring at least a bit of hope and happiness to their lives. The connections that we form, the happiness that we share, the memories that we create. Vtubing really is amazing, isn't it? It really is. Despite all the hardships and negative thoughts and feelings that can come from Vtubing for both the Vtuber and the fans, I don't regret my experiences at all. There's just something special about it that lets me a, 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 a bash and wholeheartedly enjoy and support someone. There's an unfiltered sentimentality and heart at the core of Vitamin. It just feels so natural. Yeah, you're completely right. People are brought together by these similar interests, and VTubers are able to express themselves in the way that they want. We are able to form so many different kinds of amazing connections, whether it be between VTubers, between VTuber, between VTubers, between VTuber and viewer, or between viewers. We are all, uh, we are, we are all able to come together, become something greater. We are able to accomplish amazing things. Michael Tor walks towards the water and reaches out towards the night sky. He stares out the infinite array of stars for a few seconds before turning back to me. Hey Shoma. Yeah? I really do love Vitamin. Eh? Yeah. There's something I want to tell you and ask of you. And let me save it for after the anniversary stream. Will you hear me out tomorrow after the stream at this location? Of course. Thanks. I need to head back so that I can do some final checks and rehearsing. Good night, Shuma. Good night. Makoto returns one last smile for the night before heading back towards the direction of her place. I think I've been able to find my own meaning as well, Makoto. Tomorrow is when it all happens, sir. Eh? Although I'm not feeling as nervous as I was before. I take one last look at the beach before turning to head back to my apartment. Right now I can only look back at the events of the last week with gratitude. Alright, my life really has been turned upside down. But I've been able to find someone truly precious to me. Anniversary Connect Come, my knights, your shining star in the night sky, man Orion. I'm back. Did everybody miss me? Mm hmm, mm hmm, I thought so. 
It's been an incredibly hectic past few days. It feels like I went on an odyssey and I have finally returned home. You can say that, I can. <laughs> I was able to learn a lot of things, both about myself and about others. Just about life in general as well. What happened? The details aren't important. The important thing is that I'm here and I'm doing well. But anyway, welcome to my first anniversary. I can't believe it's already been a year. Whether you've been here since the beginning or you've just recently joined, thank you for being here and supporting me. I guess I've made this into something unforgettable for me. I hope that one day I can give back even a little bit of what everybody has given me. So, I have a lot of stuff planned for the day. I guess the first thing would be what you guys might have already may have noticed. We have new badges, I want to make them on your badge look really special, so I hope everybody likes and looks forward to, to getting it. Thank you, Nina Mama, for the designs. Something tells me you've all noticed the new emotes as well. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's because you guys are all spamming them. Yep, there are a few emotes added as well, also by Ina Mama. Thank you. I hope you guys like them. So, before I go into any other things I have planned for today, I want to talk about some stuff. Oh, this might be a bit of a sun, but it's also important, so please hear me out. Huh? Let me tell you guys a bit of a story. A story about the star in the night sky. There was one sick and only girl. The girl didn't shine. Every time she tried getting close to others, she would just end up hurting them. There wasn't really anything redeeming about her. She was ugly, mean, weak, and always unhappy and tired. She didn't want to be like that. She wanted to be someone that could shine, one that could be happy about her own existence. But despite her efforts, she struggled to change. There were just so many things about herself that she was unsatisfied with. One night she, hold, she had looked up to the night sky and saw the beauty of the countless stars. She thought if only I could shine like that. And she was given the chance to change. She was given the ability to transform into a new star at night. This new star would be one that shine. It would be the one that others could look up to. It would be a self that she could be happy with. First, there weren't many people that would find it, it in the night sky or pay it any mind. But slowly the star started to grow behind her. People started to look towards it for light. As more people looked towards it and believed in it, the star grew brighter and brighter. And eventually it became one of the brightest stars in the night sky. It was a happy time for the girl. She thought she was finally making progress to becoming the self you men wanted to be. Unfortunately, that happiness did not last. She found herself overwhelmed by the responsibilities that came with being a star. Maybe she had grown too fast. Maybe she would have would never have been ready for such responsibilities. Even as a star, she ended up hurting others, both her fellow stars and people that looked up to her. If she continued to make the same mistakes even as a, as a star, had she changed or grown at all? Was she just lying to all the people that looked up to her? That she was still this ugly, weak person all, all along? The girl ended up lost about what to do about both her human and star self. She thought maybe it was just better to disappear. But despite the pitiful state that she was in and the pain she had brought to others, the very people that she had hurt were still looking towards her with love and kindness, even as her ugly human self. How could they still laugh and accept her despite what form she took? She didn't understand. She even tried pressuring them away. But no matter what she did, they still smiled at her. They were happy about her entire existence. The girl didn't really know what to do. What could she do? If she continued existing and being with these people, she would just continue hurting them, despite her own love for them. But he just continued to accept her and that they might get her. They told her that it's okay. They want to be with her anyway. Finally the girl gave in and accepted them. 
You are still weak, ugly and mean. It would still hurt Alice. She might never find the answers to her problems. She might never become the self that she aspires to be. Things might never get better for her. But she wasn't alone anymore. Her problems didn't magically go away. She didn't suddenly become the self she wanted to be. But she now felt like she could continue taking steps forward. She never discarded her ability to transform into a star. That's something she still valued. It was her opportunity to be the self that she aspired to be. How, was, how she was a star might not have been how she naturally was. But she continued becoming a star in hopes that one day she can truly become that great self. So she continued taking steps forward into the future. She didn't know where it would lead. But with the people she values by her side, she felt ready for that uncertain future. And maybe one day, she truly shine brighter than she had ever imagined. The end. Makoto. How did everybody like that story? I see a lot of crying in chat. That's just my awesome storytelling abilities, right? What happened to the girl? Who knows? The future is up to her to grasp. I won't worry too much about her though. She'll be fine. The reason I told the story is to show that stars aren't perfect. In fact, they're not much different than regular people in this story. They have their own struggles and circumstances. They might shine bright at night, but they also might have slides to themselves that don't shine. I know it might be hard to tell her because they are, they are looked at from a distance, but the stars in the story are individuals with their own hopes, dreams and insecurities. They have feelings too. It's because of both the other stars and they are people that look up to them. The, the girl was able to find a home in the sky that she valued. Let's all try our best to make our own night sky the best place we can. One other thing I wanted to talk about. People can really only look up uh, to certain stars. And with some extra effort, maybe make their voice loud enough to be heard for a second. But that might be the extent to which people can make themselves individually known to the stars. Even though stars might appreciate every single person that looks up towards them, some stars just can't give the same attention back. That's just the extent of a star's ability, and I know that might be painful for some people, might seek individual, individual specialized, specialized attention from a star. I believe that relationships are built on mutual interaction. Both parties have to be in on it, communicating on equal grounds. If a relationship is built on a one-way viewing, is that really something that's intimidate or deeply interpersonal? One party doesn't even know that the other exists. And the other might just be viewing one side that might not tell the whole, the entire story. It could very well be the same as one sidely worshipping an ideal. The relationship between a star and its viewers has its own value, but it's not the one that I think people should seek as a replacement for other types of relationship. Psst. Often the star can possibly spend the time and effort needed to form intimate, intimate relationships with every individual that looks up at it. Sure, there might be a lot of nice people out there and kindness is something that's in, invaluable, but contrary to what's depicted in a lot of media, I don't believe that just being nice alone makes you deserving of someone's feelings. There's a lot more to compatibility than just being nice. And it's, Im and it's impossible to know without interacting directly one on one. Sorry if I'm being preachy, but I feel like I had to say this. All the people that might wish for something more than just being able to look up at the stars, at stars, I don't condemn you for feeling that way. But what you're looking for very likely won't be found in the stars. 
I do hope that you eventually find what you're truly looking for, even if that might not be in the night sky. I know I said a bunch of stuff just now. I'm going to continue trying to be the mana that I aspire to be, and that everybody can find at least a bit of light in. I don't think I'm quite there yet, but I hope that everybody will continue to accept and support me as I continue to work on it. There will be changes that come as I continue to grow. Not every change will make everyone, everybody happy. I can only do the best that I can to try, be the best version of myself I can be. That's exactly what I'll do, I'll do my best. This is only the start of my journey. Please continue to watch over me, to work to become a star that shines bright in my own way. That's how she planned to do it. This is the mana she wants to represent and strive for. I know some people might be taken aback since she said a lot of things that might come as a surprise or that people didn't want to hear. You basically never see her be vulnerable and open like this. But I believe in both Makoto and the mana fans. Doesn't take long for the chat window to be filled with messages of support and affirmation. We will start spamming the mana hard and more than eventually the entire window consists of really hard hearts. No, oh, stop it guys. I really don't have the words to describe how thankful I am for how you all made this dream come true for me. Really truly, thank you. Alright, enough of all that serious talk. Let's get to the actual fun stuff. Okay, so first up we have a collection of clips that I've put together to feature some highlights throughout the year. I can already see myself cringing at myself throughout the entire thing, but I know you all will enjoy watching me squirm. Let me pull it up real quick. There we go. A video window appears on the screen, showing a past frame of Mana's debut stream. Oh, she actually decided to show this. I thought she'd just leave it out and scold me later for choosing the clip from her debut. Yes, this is from my debut stream. No, we're not watching the whole thing. You guys are laughing already. I haven't even shown anything. I'm probably going to regret showing this. <laughs> I guess a loud audible sign. Alright, here we go. The video doesn't play for longer than 5 seconds before Mana was the video closes her eyes and turns her head in a visible display of pain. She's just groaning in pain and seeing herself doing her debut stream. Okay, just bear with it. Ujimana was able to get through the to be a stream clip away with frequent pausing. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the clips that follow went <clears throat> relatively smoothly, with plenty of laugh, embarrassment, and ironic self praise from Mana. Looks like that was the last clip. Oh, that was fun and painful, but fun. I just wanted to backseat past me the entire time while I was watching those clips. Like, you idiot, what are you saying? <laughs> I have a feeling down there. I have just a feeling down there. Well, shut the fish up. For real. But also, yes. Past me was also cute and innocent, so I also wanted to pat her head and give her some words of encouragement. I'm mean, like, ha, you screwed. It only gets harder from here. Yeah, I'm sure past mana would have really appreciated that. Man, it sure feels weird looking back at my past self. Okay, next we have fan letter reading. I can read through all of them, otherwise I'll be here until my second anniversary. <laughs> yeah, so I had some picked out. I haven't actually read through any of them, so I'll be reading and reacting live. First we have a letter from Triangular Turtle Tiger. Thank you, Mana and fellow Mana fans for a wonderful year of love and wonder. Your streams have been something I could always rely on for a time of heart and joy and it would not have been possible without you. Thanks to all the great memories that have been made and also to another year of wonderful Mana streams. Aw, thank you. It wouldn't have been possible without all of you either. And make the next year even better than the first, yeah? 
An X we have, but I can go through the letters that I had picked out. Directly to every letter, positively. A response ranging from slight teasing to strong fondness. Let's see if we have a letter from Showhouse35. Oh! My little mate scolded me for slipping my own letter in there, but I kind of wanted to let her know my own thoughts on her as mana. <laughs> Was this said before or after? Mana, meeting you has been a pivotal moment in my life, in more ways than one. These days have been filled with so much joy and laughter thanks to you. But amidst those moments of joy in life are also inevitable points of hardship and struggle. I realize that there, are, there often aren't easy answers to what life for us are thus. But you've provided a place where we can all connect and make memories and have fun, despite what we might be going through. It might only be so much that I and the rest of the mana fans can do for you during your own times of hardship. If the only thing we can provide in return is to be here for you and foster this community that you've created, then we'll do just that. Even if we don't understand you fully and regardless of what the future holds, is always be a place you can return to and we'll always be here to support you. And don't feel like you're under undeserving of any of the support that you get. I truly believe that it's not just what you've done, but also who you are that makes you deserving of all the love and support that you get. You're not alone. Let's face the future together. Thank you, Shoma. I was in a bit of a rush, so I'm not sure if I managed to get everything I wanted to say across. I think I managed to say what I wanted to say as a man of him. And I wanted to get past the serious stuff, but we have Shuma here being all savvy. I really am so thankful and happy that you all gave me the chance to be a part of your life and make this dream come true. You have the chance to be able to share the things I love connect with all of you, to have been part of something greater than I could have ever been in our home. Truly, I'm so thankful. I could hear Smana's voice start wavering towards them. If it can be heard through the stream audio. Are you going to start crying on stream? As well, we could be shaking her head. She sits up and opens her eyes. No, I'm not going to cry. Stop it, guys! Ah, you guys are just being weird now, spamming those hearts. Come on, stop it! Response to Mana's emotional display. The chat once again fills with hearts and words of encouragement and affection. Alright, alright, I'm going to move on to the next one. I've a plan since you guys are being all savvy. Let's sing a few songs. I know my last stream was a karaoke stream, but I had to end that stream suddenly, so I didn't get to finish. After that, I have some new merchandise to relay. Yay! Then I get something I put together and recorded to show you guys, so that'll be fun. If you have something a bit different in terms of songs though, today, if you like singing something different than what I usually sing. Okay, let's start. The song that starts playing has a tone distinctively more upbeat than what Mana usually sings. What would usually be something more melancholic is now one filled with hope for the future and gratitude for what's been experienced. Despite any mistakes and regrets. Again and again, we've made mistakes. Our lingering regrets and eternal affection will reboot our love. More than ever, Manoja is brighter than I've ever previously seen her. You wanted to become a star that people could find hope and happiness in, didn't you? I don't think you have to worry about that. You've already achieved it. And to me, you've become the brightest star of all. So let's connect our love, the feeling I want to put into words in the right answer. I want to convey our one and the same. Thank you. The story walk across the shoreline, looking back at the imprints my souls have me left behind the sand. A warm glow of the sun can be seen in the distance as it starts to make its exit for the day. Still feeling a whirl of emotions from the anniversary stream prior to arriving at the beach. <coughs> there was plenty of excitement and fondness 
or the stream, but there was also feelings of worry and anxiety for what's to come. This new strength that Mara showed, one that's born out of an acceptance of one's weakness and truth. In all directions she was positive, but how are people going to feel our stream? And in the future, when there might be more changes? Did her words even make a difference to the people that needed to hear it? I let out a loud audible sigh in an attempt to ease my concerns. Careful there, they say that every time you sigh, a little bit of happiness escapes from you. I turn around in direction to the familiar warm voice behind me. Aren't you the one who's always singing? What you say is true, then let's try to salvage what we have left. Sure, sure, life got enough happiness to go around. I can do it and turn to smile as she starts to walk alongside me by the water. <coughs> Turns her gaze to the ocean with an expression on her face that I can't quite uh, ascertain. So, what did you think of the stream? I think you did amazing. You're really shining brighter than I've previously seen you. Thanks. I still don't know if I made the right choice of, or if I'm on the correct path. Just did what I felt like was right for me. I don't know if people will come to fully accept the changes that I showed and that I'll be making in the future. But this is how I want to express myself, I think. Not sure either, but I think you made the right choice. Take it from Show has 35, the biggest man of an out there. Oh yeah, that was a bit of cheeky thing you did, putting your own letter in there. It was so long too, I didn't even pay attention to the character element. Oh yeah, I guess I wasn't really thinking about it. But thanks, I really liked it, even though you said some embarrassing things. It wasn't that embarrassing, was it? Sure was. Let's face the future together, eh? We were able to make it through this whole anniversary or ordeal, but I'm not sure how things will go from here. You sure you want to continue walking down this path with me? I... Sorry, I know I'm bringing this up again. But I don't see this path being smoothed, setting from now on. I don't even know if I found any solution to my problems. And I know I've said this before, but... I don't have the answers to your problems. I can't be that knight in shining armor. I can't be that broken protagonist that will save you or figure out your problems. I'm just me. I have plenty of my own problems. I bring. I'm not even sure if I'm still doing this out of my own insecurities. I just know that I want to continue being with you. If you're fine with all that, then I would be the happiest guy to keep walking down this path with you. I'd rather have Shoma Hasegawa than a knight in shining armor or one of those protagonists. And you've already done so much for me. It really makes me feel like I should do more for you. Like you said, you're just you. But that's exactly why I want you to stay with me on this path. Just my own conf confidence in myself. I'm bringing this up. Say, can I bit... a bit... Be a little selfish. I'm going to ask you a bunch of annoying questions just to give myself an ease of mind. Sure, go ahead. My eyes are currently failing at this point. I know you've already said you would accept these parts of me, but I just want to selfishly reaffirm. You accept the side of me that will annoy and burn you? Yes. I'm going to make selfish requests of you. Please do I have so many problems. It makes two of us. You're never going to get hurt. It's fine. I'm going to complain a bunch to you. I know, I want you to tell me about your problems. And, I got to hustle it as many times as it takes. I want all and every part of you, and I wouldn't have it any other way. You're looking for your soulmate or someone who can complete you, and you won't find that with me. This is me, this is who I am, this is all that I have. I'm just a girl with a lot of problems. 
I'm looking for my soulmate or someone who can complete me. I just want you. Oh, you really are. Come on, what the heck? I, I'm so happy. Hey, it's, it's not just me. There are plenty of people around you who all accept and love you. Yeah, what's wrong with all of you? Makoto takes a moment to wipe her tears with her sleeve. Yoma, there is much value to the path I walk. But I want you to be there with me, side by side. You'll probably stumble a lot and feel lost. But if you're here with, there with me, then you'll feel like everything will be okay. Will you walk this path with me? Just as someone was involved with me? But as someone I love? Is it a no? Of course it is a yes, I was just shocked! I think you've made me the happiest girl in the world at this moment. Very coming from my mouth, isn't it? I don't think so. I think this is... Happiness just fits you. I think so. I hope you can continue making me this happy then. I'll try my best. <laughs> Let's go show up! To this unknown future. Yep. No matter where it is, no matter what the ways I'll set you in. We walk it together one step at a time. Yeah. Dear reader, thanks for reaching the end of VTuber Connect. Ever since I started watching VTubers, I've always been captivated by the power of the connection that they are made. This game is my love letter to VTubing as a medium. It's a love letter in which I attempt to hide nothing but embrace everything. Not everything about VTubing as a medium is dazzling. There are plenty of things that we would prefer not to experience or think about. But I believe that's what it makes human. It's human. It's true to life in a way that's reflective of who we are as, a pe as people. Similar to people, I believe that it has a power to move, inspire and connect us in a way that isn't really seen as well. My own personal experience with VTubers reflects this. Despite any of the negative experiences, thoughts and feelings I've had with VTubers, well, I'm ultimately thankful that I've been able to share in their experiences and be part of their communities. One of my hopes uh, with this story was to get people to be more conscious about their experiences with VTubing as a medium. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that maybe we could come to a better understanding of each other. Both from the perspective of the VTuber, I, and the viewer. It's easy to forget there's a human behind every screen. We are going through our own individual experiences and have our own unique stories. We don't know what others might be going through and we can't make assumptions that they may or may not be in a good spot. We may not always be able to do much for the people that need help, but I truly believe that there's power in being understood. Even if we may never come to fully understand them, just feeling like they're understood or knowing that someone has made an attempt to understand can have a significant effect. Of course, it's impossible to truly 100% understand everything about a person. And oftentimes, it's best not to pry into or share certain experiences. But just coming to an understanding of the possible experiences of others can go a long way. This is just one of the many ways that we connect with others. Thank you again for playing through VTuber Connect. I hope that I was able to connect with you in some way through this game. You did. Signed, Vero. And that was VTuber Connect. I don't know what to say about this. Like, I have... I have... Absolutely... Nothing to say. Oh, but, but okay. Nothing to say is, is not the right word. Um, I have... 
nothing to think about what I sh could say because this game Jesus but it it was good it was nice a lot of understanding <sighs> and um, let me one thing tell you it was nice though and um, yeah I, I really have I I have no words either because it is already been, it's nearly midnight right now in about 50 minutes or or about what happened the, the whole day technically or no technically also yesterday but hmm it is a good game this was this was a game that I really recommend to play as a VTuber and also as a fan of as of being a VTuber and also just watch all of my streams of this break game because it's just basically just for just a visual novel but 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 it's better to experience this yourself because again noise game